Boys and girls, a while back I went to something called the Beyond Van Gogh. And what they had done is taken some of his paintings and brought them to life so that the paintings were actually moving. And when I saw him, I thought, you know what? I know some very talented students of mine who could do this on their own. So that's what we're going to be doing today. The first thing you're going to do is go to Artsonia because you need to find your art. You're gonna press on students and you're gonna click the top one. You'll press the purple button to scan the code. You'll hover above the code like you've done before, that'll be on the tables. You're going to select your grade and you can either scroll through to find your name or you can start to type in your name. And when it pops up, you click on it. Now, I don't want you pressing plus today. What I do want is artwork. And when you do, I want for you to find one of the few projects that we had. One was this Starry Night project. Another was the pond paintings with the lily pads. Remember when we did that out by the pond? Another project was when we did waterscapes way back at the beginning of the school year. And lastly, we had our windmill project, which we had done with the tulips, you might recall. So those four types of paintings are the ones that you are going to be finding. The first thing you'll do is click on one of them, and then I want you to press the plus button so that you can make it as large as possible. Notice I even had to rotate it. Right there is the home button. That's the one that you can push. And then the other button is behind that little black faded thing. The camera is in that corner. The volume up and down is in that corner. But there's also a little button right there that you use to put it to sleep. But it's also the button we use for taking a screenshot. Now the thing about a screenshot is that when you have your photo as large as possible, to take a screenshot, you're going to push down on the home button and that little um, sleep button at the same time. So there's the sleep button and the home button. The sleep button is behind the little dot. You're gonna line up your fingers, your pointer finger on the sleep button and your thumb on the home key. <clears throat> and then you're gonna do one, two, three, and you're gonna push. One, two, three, click it, and when you do, if you're successful, you'll see that flash of white and you'll see the picture go off into the corner. <clears throat> as soon as you see the picture go off in the corner, you are good. You're going to go back into Artsonia and you're going to find your next photo. So you can find your pond painting. As soon as it's nice and big, you're going to line up your fingers on the home key and the sleep button and you're going to click it. And when you do, you've got a screenshot. Next, you're going to go back and you're going to find your waterscape. You're going to make it nice and big. You're going to line up your fingers and you're going to take a screenshot. Now, some kids have such a hard time with the screenshot thing and others are like, what? It's not hard at all. So please, if you sense that your neighbor's having a hard time, help them out. Just kind of show them with their hands because if you do, all of a sudden it's easy. Once you have your screenshots done, now we're going to have some fun. You are going to go to an app called Pixamotion. It's black with a little triangle going sideways. Now, Pixamotion loves to show you a whole bunch of stuff, and you always just have to say, yeah, 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 yeah. So here, do you send notifications? Uh, you will probably say no, even though if you say yes, it's not a big deal. You're going to be saying next, 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 yeah, 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 next, next, next. And then you're going to say start. When you say start, you're going to be like, finally. Yes, you are going to allow them to access your photos because you need it. When you do that, you're going to choose one of your paintings and it's going to come inside. We would like for you on this first thing to scroll it over and to push the button that says four, three. When you click on that, that means that everyone's video is going to be the same size so we can put them together into a big show. I was ready to start and they wanted to show me something again. Just X out of it and you can move on. 
The button you are going to be using today is animate. It's the only button you will be using. Your first option is going to be the one that says motion. You are going to drag your finger, drawing the direction that you would hope that your water could move. Now notice I'm doing a little wavy. You could do it straight across. You can do a swirl. And when I press play, it's going to start to look like it's moving. But right now I'm like, I don't want my, my hills moving and my boat looking all weird. That's where you're going to touch on the button that says pin. If you use your finger to just dabby dot, 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 you are going to tell it, I don't want that object to move. And it's going to go, okay, I'll move the rest, but I won't move the boat. Now, if you're like, I don't want my hills moving either, <clears throat> then you're going to press on pin and you can go straight across your horizon line and you can go on your hills. Notice I'm getting that horizon line too. Now, when I press play, my water is moving, my hills are not, and my boat's sitting there all nice. Now, I think it'd be fun to have my sky do something. So I'm going to go back over to my motion toggle and I'm going to maybe do, oh, I want these to look a little bit like they're swirling over there, that they're kind of coming down. As soon as I've got that done, I can press the play button again, and now I can see what it looks like. So this is a very interesting animation of my painting. Now, if you want to have things moving ever so slightly on your hill, you could try it. But if you're like, no, 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 I do not want that looking like my hill is starting to melt, then all you have to do is push the back button and it will remove what you did before. Now, the last thing is you have to decide on your speed. If you see that speed button, that is a way for you to be able to decide if you want it to go fast or if you want it to go slow. Once you know you like it, you are going to press that big pink button on the bottom that says done. And as soon as you've done that, it's going to process it and you are going to now tell it where you want it to go. That's when you choose that box with the arrow going out of it. When you click on that, it's going to say, what type do you want it to be? You want it to be just with this setting, with the video, 1080, and at eight seconds. Please don't mess around with that because then the quality of the video will be different. So once you've got that, and it'll probably be set like that already, you're gonna say export. And just like that, it's gonna slowly generate the video. Don't touch it, just watch those numbers slowly go higher and higher until it reaches 100%. The minute it gets to 100, things go fast. It does this little bloopity bloop and it says, do you want to save it? And you're like, what just happened? Watch here. It goes to 100%. It does this little bloopity bloop processing and it brings you straight to the save button. Once you see that, you are going to be selecting save, not share, but save. And once again, it's going to do this fast little thing. You press save and it does this little processing bloop, 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 bloop. And it goes, it takes so long to generate, but then the processing goes really fast. Don't keep pressing the save button over and over and over. If you see that little processing thing, you are done. At this point, you are going to press the X and then you're going to press it again. If you want to make another one, you're going to go right over to that square with the mountains. Mountains mean more. It's going to bring you to the screenshots that you did earlier. And you can go ahead and just start on another one. You're going to crop it to that four or three. You're going to select motion and you're going to start to draw your lines. You're going to start to pin the things that you want to stay stable. And you're going to fool around with, do you see how like on this one, I drew my animate lines, my motion lines in a swirl because I wanted it to have the same swirly effect as what I had in my drawing. Once I'm done, I'm going to save it. It's going to do its little crawl up to 100%. It's going to do its little bloopity bloop thing. And I'm going to press save. I like it. 
So I'm going to press save and I'm going to do it once. I click on there, you get that quick little flash of processing and you're done. If it ever asks you these weird questions like, do you want to uh, connect with other people or do you want us to contact you? Just say no, or you can ask a teacher. Whether you've made a ton of these or just one, you're going to go to photos after this because we need to bring it out of recent and into your album. I'm gonna click on recent and the ones on the bottom are yours. You'll press select and you're gonna select your videos and you're gonna select your original screenshots. You're gonna know that, you're, that they're yours because they're gonna be sitting right there. They're gonna be the latest thing that goes in. From there, you have to tell it where to go. So you're gonna press the box with the arrow. You're gonna say, add to album. And then you're gonna find your adorable face or your adorable name and get it into your album. This is Gabby Rodriguez's album. And now she has everything that she's ever made, all of her photos, all the way down to her most recent animation. Now that she has that in her album, all safe, it's time for her to upload it to Artsonia. Now she was already in Artsonia, so she's already logged in. She's going to say plus. She's going to put on paintings in motion and she's going to say import. The very first ones that pop up are going to be her videos. She's not going to choose the screenshot. She's going to choose the one that says eight seconds. From there, you're just going to go, yep, submit, skip, the same old thing you guys have always done, except for now that it's a video, it will take a little bit longer. She's going to say skip. She's going to say skip. And just like that, her video is now in her portfolio. If she has another video and she wants to put it in, she'll say plus. She's going to click on paintings in motion, import from library, click on her other video, skippity scoop, submit, blah de blee de blue de blue. So right now when you sit down, you are going to be going to Artsonia to screenshot your pond or your waterscape or your starry night or your windmill. Have fun.